MRS 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. All three engines up and burning. 2, 1, 0, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. America will continue the dream. And it's the end of a dream. The Marxist president, Barack Hussein Obama, has ended the space shuttle. We were once dominant in space. It began with Russia beating us uh, with Sputnik. I remember it when I was in college and what it, it did for science and engineering in this country. It revolutionized the United States of America. And we became leaders in space. And this era is now over because of one Marxist president. Uh, 10,000 jobs wiped out with the stroke of a communist pen, and he got away with it. He got away with it because the compliant, do I have to say it, the vermin in the media, how many different ways do I have to say the compliant media? It was destroyed by Barack Obama. Remember on April 15, 2010, Obama announced that he was going to end NASA's current space exploration program, and he was going to hand billions of dollars over to private companies who were supposed to do this for the United States of America. What he did not tell you is that the soonest the privately built space shuttle can be ready is 2014. He is buying six seats each year on Russia's Soyuz spacecraft. Now, I want to ask you something. Do you think that the Russians are stupid? Do you think the Russians are going to actually charge you the price that they told Obama they would charge back in 2010 when he said he was ending NASA? Or do you think they might jack up the price since they own the rocket? And what about the secrecy? of the mission. What secrecy? Our astronauts are like human cargo now. Sitting on a Russian spacecraft, they can hardly talk without being overheard. They'll be bugged. And of course, that gives Russia any advantage that they may want over our uh, wonderful Chairman uh, uh, Obama, which is, of course, on purpose. And you understand very, very well, even if you are not a scientist or an engineer, and I'm not a physical scientist, but I certainly have enough uh, of an interest in these things to understand the, the rudiments, that whoever controls space will control a space platform for space weaponry, which could render virtually any other nation impotent without firing a shot. And that will either be Russia or China. It will not be America. The fact of the matter is, it is over. We are now passengers on Russian spacecrafts. 10,000 jobs lost from the Wright brothers to Barack Obama in the blink of an eye. Stroke of a pen, a devious community organizer from the streets of Chicago wiped out the space program, ended America's dominance in space, and killed 10,000 jobs with barely a notice in the media. I want you to mark your calendars today because it's the end of an era. The Marxist tyrant in the White House with the stroke of a pen wiped out America's space missions. It happened in your lifetime. We have gone for 400 years. This country was a nation of pioneers uh, exploring on the horizontal plane of the earth itself. And then at the beginning of the 20th century, the American people began to uh, be pioneers in the vertical. And they had the first aircraft at Kitty Hawk. And it wound up on Tranquility Base in space. And now the American myth is dead. The college teacher, the community organizer, the American-hating Barack Hussein Obama has wiped out this sense of pioneering and exploration. It's the end of America as a pioneering nation. We will be reduced to passengers on a Russian space shuttle from here on in until at some time in the future when allegedly some private companies will uh, pick up where the government left off. I, you know what? I'll believe that when I see it. And so as I say to you, to me, this is a memorable day. I have chills uh, when I listen to the sound of that voice. Is that not a quintessential American voice, the sound of that? Probably an ex-Air uh, Force jock announcing or you know, calling out the, uh, the, uh, the launch. Does, didn't it once give you pride in this country to hear that voice? Didn't it make you feel proud to be an American? Of course it did. But if you were a left-winger all your life, 
if you were raised as Obama was to hate this country, if you were sitting in a church where the despicable, vile, hate-filled Reverend Wright filled his ears with the most unimaginable hatred for America and for Israel and for Jews, you also would think this is a great day that you've achieved something by ending the uh, space shuttle. You've done good for your for your peers. You have satisfied everything that they ever wanted. All of your controllers are now going to pat you on the back and say, good job, Barry. Good job, Barry. You're a real progressive. You're such a progressive that you've turned America back 40 years. That's the kind of progressive you are. 